an artist who worked in the Capitol for many years, Constantino yes. Bramidi, who, yes. who uh, decorated much of the interior, who once wrote that how fortunate he was to make beautiful, as he described it, make beautiful the Capitol. Uh, of this nation. As a landscape architect, you, you try to show the setting of the capital and, and uh, w let's talk about your philosophy. What, what is it that you're trying to accomplish it in the landscape around the building itself? Well, I certainly uh, adhere to remarks that Mr. Olmsted made that uh, for the capital the landscape architecture was intended by him to be secondary to the architecture. Now, other projects he did, and other projects I've done, certainly, uh, in some cases, you might want to hide the building. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, here we certainly uh, continue to, and as you mentioned a few moments ago, uh, the grounds today look more like the Olmsted plan than they did earlier in the 20th century when there were periods of neglect. Uh, there were many years when there was no landscape architect and uh, someone mowed the grass and uh, uh, did rudimentary things, but uh, the plan was really sort of lost and I've seen photographs where it had just become so overgrown that you wouldn't have recognized it, but we've, we've uh, and, and in our country, the, the word historic, the words historic preservation uh, mean more to us today than they would have a few decades ago. So both for the inside and outside the buildings, Mr. Bermidi and Mr. Olmsted took great pride in, in the, and of course, Mr. Bermidi became an American citizen uh, in the process but I know they both uh, considered it a, a great privilege to, to design for the United States Capitol.